Hello, welcome to the video on creating a design report in OSDAC. So far, we have learned how to perform a fin plate shear connection design and how to handle graphics in OSDAC. We have also learned how to set the design preferences particularly for this connection. In the next video, we will be creating a design report after a successful completion of a safe design and we will be discussing about the various sections of the report. Let us take a successful fin plate connection design and start from the stage where it shows overall fin plate connection design is safe in the message box. To generate a report, click on the create design report button at the bottom right corner of the output dock or navigate to the file menu and select create design report. You can also use the shortcut key Alt C assigned for this. The design profile dialog box will open. Let us enter the name of the company. Also, browse for a company logo. Enter a group or a team name and the designer's name. OSDAG allows you to save the user profile so that you can use it in the future. Next, we enter the project details. Let us specify the project title. Let us leave the subtitle blank. Let us give the job number. A designer can enter optional comments further to explain her design considerations or opinions. These comments may be useful for the fabricator. Once you have finished filling all the required data in the design profile, click OK. By default, this report will be saved in the workspace directory selected in the beginning of the design. Once you have generated a design report, navigate to the workspace directory and double click on the design report to open it. The design report is saved in a PDF file format and can be opened using any PDF reader of your choice. Let us now look at the design report. The design report consists of four main parts and a header repeating on every part. The header contains the information that we have provided in the design profile dialog box. The first part of the report contains the connection properties. This includes the type of connection and other details of the connection such as the column section, the beam section, the weld size, the bolt size and grade. This includes various properties that have been calculated as outputs in the design process such as the pitch and the end distance. The second part of the report echoes the design preference data. This section shows all the detailed preferences which we have selected or left as default for the bolt, weld, detailing and design choices. The third part is the design checking section. This shows all the checks that were performed during the design. Each check also shows the relevant Indian standard clause number along with the calculation. The required values are compared against the design values and is remarked pass 
in green color. If the check is applicable and satisfied, otherwise fail in red color appears in the remark column. The fourth part is the graphic section. In order to provide a clear visual of the design component to whoever reads this report. Here we have an image of the 3D model along with the standard 2D views, which are the top view, the front view and the side views. The views have appropriate section cuts labeled as AA, BB and CC specifications displaying the relevant dimensions, member sections, number, size and grade of bolts and other connection details are appropriately shown in these drawings. We can see that a standard detailing practice is followed in these three images. Finally, the last part contains the additional comments that were provided while creating the report. These can be used by the designer to indicate if the fabricator can alter the design depending on site requirements and if yes, then how. It can also be used to give any kind of instruction to the client about this specific design. Note that you can also create a design report for a faulty or unsafe design in order to view the failed check or checks in the detail. In a faulty design report, the 3D image and the drawing views do not appear. This brings us to the end of this video. Let us summarize this tutorial. In this video, we have learnt how to create a professional design report for a fin plate shear connection design in OSDAG. We have also looked into how to save a user profile and use it in future use. After that, we have seen the different sections of the design report in detail and understood the usefulness of each. In the next video, we will demonstrate how to save the 3D CAD model of a connection and then import it into a CAD manipulation software. Thank you.